this will essentially have the bottom drilled out and then sit on top. You can see the the actual pipe that goes out of it. That will be sort of the, the, the end stop, I think. I might spend it above it. But in essence, this is going to sit over it and there's going to be a little bit of room on each side for the water to flow up in. But it will mean that whatever circular motion we have here, that will not happen within the cut where it falls up. So the intent is that you'll have the circular motion on the outside, enough to gather the solids at the center, like you can see, well, hopefully you can see, gather the solids at the center. But then, once it flows up and through this, there will no longer be a circular motion. It will simply slowly rise up, and any of the solids will fall to the bottom. Yeah, it should work out well. Now it's a little bit silly because we cannot see the actual effect of this until we actually have fish in the tank and we do have a, a bunch of salts, but I suspect this will be a good preparation for that. So uh, let's get this in and uh, we'll see how it works. What I want to do is I want to maintain the, the circular motion on the outside, but cut that by using this so that once it comes back up and out to the outlet, uh, there will be no more circular motion. Hopefully by then all the solids will have been taken by the current, kept in the bottom center, and what comes out will be slowly overflow into this. Currently there is a circular motion at the very top, and that should hopefully help you know, carry that down. I've also bought around a thousand 16 millimeter bio balls, and I am sort of playing around with the idea of having those be part of the circular flow on the outside, because there is a bit of a tension time here. Hopefully the solids will stay at the bottom, and I might automate the, the suction of that out sometime in the future, but for now at least, I'm just going to try and cut down on the circular motion at the outlet. So let me cut out the center of this, and uh, we'll let this stand, because the height pretty much fits with the, the outlet height you'll be seeing on the side of this. So I'll cut this out, and uh, we'll see, see how it goes. Maybe a little bit hard to see, but this is about the full rate we have now. The outside, and on the inside, there's hardly any flow rate, so that's good. It looks like it's working as intended. We are seeing super fine particulates can come up and over and in, but not something that I'm too concerned about. The only thing I might do is, is add a little bit of support to each side. So this stays level. Um, yeah, I might be good. Give that a go, and, uh, and then I think I'll leave it. Just need to drill a couple of holes, and we're good. So, you know, if I need to get everything apart, easy peasy, no issues. So, if you imagine now that uh, we have doubled the flow once I turn the pump up to about 100%, or maybe at least a, a third more flow as a result of that, um, we should have quite a bit of, of circular flow as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, probably, I'll add the bio balls that will be floating around on the outside, but they won't be able to get up through the planter from the bottom. So they will be doing part of their job on the outside. Is that a good idea? Probably not. Hmm. We might get to a point where I will want to have a mineralization tank uh, separate to this. 
All right, so I realize not many people do have aquaponics are actually um, talking about this, and that's the, the noise that are associated with having aquaponics. So most big commercial uh, implementations of aquaponics, you have these very big air compressors supplying oxygen for fish. You have the actual pumps. Sometimes they're not in water, which means they can be quite noisy. You've also said different things that can produce noise. Um, but the thing is, my aquaponics is on the terrace. It can't be making a lot of noise. It's in Tokyo, sure. You would expect a lot of noise from the road, as you can hear. Um, but the, the fact is, it's not, not actually very noisy because I don't really have any bigger air compressors uh, at, the, at the moment. So what I have is, I'm going to have a Venturi provide oxygen here. I will have a backup one for oxygen. And I may or may not get an, uh, an air compressor in the future. But that's all packed away in, in a separate box for noise uh, suppression. There's also the fact that all of this is actually right next to my bed. I mean, it's basically outside my bedroom right now. So even something like this, I don't know if you can hear it, but bring it in close. So as this flows uh, and the, the noise resonates in the large return pipe, you can actually hear quite a bit of this from the bedroom, which may or may not be desirable. So if you're doing something for you know home use on your terrace, or close to, to home, or maybe you want to use your terrace in the summertime, sit out there without being annoyed by the by the noise. Uh, there's a few considerations that you can, can make. Stuff like this that has an open top, a lot of this will help if you put a lid over it. It will also prevent leaves, etc. from coming in. As soon as you do this, you have much less uh, resonating noise, you don't hear much of this. The same thing from the overflow. Once you cover this up, you do need to have air going in though, but if you cover it up, you will reduce the noise significantly. Um, the same thing uh, goes for the bell siphons that are in the grow bits. You can't avoid their burping at the end of a cycle, there's just no way around it really. Uh, unless you have a lot of flow in each of them, then what you can do is, from the actual, uh, let me get you down there, actually, I'll show you. So, if you have, if we have one, oh, this one's about to cycle, so, I'll take you down here and you can sort of hear when it starts. Uh, maybe a little hard to see here, maybe this one's better. So this is in the sump tank. If you point it towards a surface in the tank, that is not perpendicular to where the, the flow hits. Guys, you will know this when you're, the if, when you're in the men's room and you're peeing. If you hit right against something, it will be noisy, or right against the surface of something, it's, it's gonna be noisy. If you hit something at a, like a nice and low angle, you're not gonna hear it very much. And it's the same thing when you have a return cycle uh, in an aquaponic system. That's the burp that I was talking about. Give it a think and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers!